To add a multiple choice question to the question bank, click Create a New Question, then double click Multiple Choice. On the next page, fill out this form to determine how your multiple choice question is going to behave within Moodle. You do need to include a question name, which is something that only you see, and then the question text, which is what the students will see. If you don't want to come up with a unique name for every single question, I suggest just pasting in the question text as the question name as well. A bit further down, you can set the default points, although this setting can really be skipped since you'll set the default points when you add this to a quiz. There's also a general feedback section, which means after the students take the quiz, they would see general feedback on how they did on this question, regardless of whether they were correct, partially correct, or incorrect. A bit further down, you can select whether this is a multiple choice question where multiple answers can be correct. That would be situations where you might say, select all the answers that happen to be correct. You can do that here. You can also check shuffle the choices, which means that you would no longer be responsible for determining whether the correct answer is A, B, C, D, etc. Moodle will randomly shuffle the responses so that they are all random, as long as in the quiz settings under question behavior you select yes for shuffle within questions. You can also select how you number the choices, but by default it will just be an A, B, C list. You do have other options if you want them, but you don't have to change that. In the answer section, you'll put in the possible choices that the students can select, and then under grade, you'll select 100% for the response or responses that are correct. You can also add individual feedback that the students would see after they complete the quiz and it closes. If you find yourself in need of more room to type something in here, you can always click and drag this bottom right corner to make the text box larger. I will point out you have plenty of formatting options, including the option to include images, videos, Kaltura videos, or to record audio and video on your own to incorporate into here. So this can be a rich media answer for the students to select. A bit further down, there will be a few more options, including combined feedback. This is just where you can provide feedback depending on how the students perform on the question. So if they were correct, partially correct, or incorrect. And you can also allow multiple tries. So if they have multiple tries, you could provide either a hint or a penalty for each incorrect try. 